How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Caswell Customs. Vinny here as always, and I am so excited for this video. This is something I've been talking about for months now. Ordered it two months ago, finally arrived. We've been talking about it for weeks, but our fiberglass, our fiberworks, wide body fenders and bedsides are finally here and we're finally getting them on the White Knight Sierra. I'm so excited to do this. This is gonna be an extensive process, but I'm so excited to get these on the truck. It is gonna be a huge change for the vehicle. So I'm just so stoked to get this started. Um, so let's get to it. So there's a couple steps we gotta follow to get this started. First, we're gonna start by kind of disassembling everything on the truck. We're gonna go ahead, get the front clip off, get the headlights out, get the valence off. Um, just, you know, get all the stuff out of the way because we are gonna have to cut these off the body. Um, the way that it works is there is an outer fender and an inner fender. And from factory, they come as one solid piece but from Fiberworks, it's just the outer fender. Let you check out everything that came from Fiberworks. Um, so first we got over here is, this is the passenger side fender. And I got everything kind of scattered all over the place. Here we've got the two bedsides. Now from Fiberworks, they only come as six and a half foot bedsides. Obviously this is a five foot nine bed. So what we're gonna have to do is actually cut a seven inch section out of these bedsides and put this back to the rest of it because this actually curves around just like it would on the factory bedside. So we're gonna get those shortened up. So that's gonna be interesting working with fiberglass. Uh, it's kind of my first time doing anything this big. Uh, that's gonna be the new front valence. As you can see it's white. We're gonna keep it white versus the, uh, you know, the bed line one that we've got up front. I think it's just gonna be a real nice look wrapped around the front grill, the way that's black and the way that the front bumper is black. Over here, we have the driver side. So there's that. And I mean, just, you can see from the top, I mean, how much wider that is compared to the width on the factory one. As of right now, we're not gonna paint anything just like we didn't paint the hood. I wanna get everything on, get it situated, get it to fit, um, and I wanna wait until I get, if not new wheels and tires, at least my bigger tires, if I just go bigger tires with this set of wheels. Um, that way I know with when I go to 37s, if I gotta cut anything else on the fenders, I don't wanna do all the work of painting it, making it look real nice and clean, and then, you know, having to cut them up again. So we're gonna go ahead and just uh, throw them on. The white is close enough, just like the, the hood is. So should be a good process. Brent and I are also talking about doing a sweet Caswell Customs specific wrap. Um, I think it just looks so good. Um, one of the other big things is, you know, I, you know, there's the dent from the other weekend, but instead of doing these four by four stickers again, we're gonna take the Caswell Customs logo and slap that on there. I think that's gonna look great. So, lots to do, let's get started. All right, so we finally have the whole front end disassembled and wow, it just looks so naked. It's, uh, it's just so crazy. It's just so crazy to see everything stripped off there, but uh, you know, it'll be a good point to start for us in the morning. So basically how this works is, like I said, there's an outer fender and an inner fender. Um, so we actually have to drill all these little spot welds out. Um, we gotta unbolt those two, but drill all those out and then cut inside the fender well, which I'll show you once the fender liner's off tomorrow. And then basically go in through the door, undo some bolts. Go ahead and uh, show that process tomorrow. I think we're gonna call it a night and we're gonna start bright and early in the morning. 
So this is something else that's gonna make this process so much easier. Um, this is actually a plasma cutter that I got on Amazon. Um, I'm gonna have to mess with that tomorrow, kind of figure out how it works, but this was rated really high on Amazon, so I have high hopes for how cheap it was. It was $274 before tax and everything, so I mean, it's such a killer price, and if it can do everything we need in regards to cutting this off, it will well paid for itself, versus trying to use an angle grinder to do all this. So, show you a little bit about that tomorrow. All right, guys, good morning. Welcome back to day two. So, you know, this is what we got done with the truck. The front end is disassembled, so now we're gonna go ahead and get to getting this first fender off. Um, so, watched a couple videos on this, uh, Full Droop TV. Uh, they had a channel about seven, eight years ago, did a great video on this whole process, so kinda gonna try and emulate that a little bit. Um, the bedsides, I'm probably gonna do a little bit different than they did. I'm thinking about actually just drilling every single spot weld off and literally I'm going to peel the whole bedside off. Um, I'm thinking that might require taking the bed off, so we'll see, but uh, that, that'll that be interesting. But uh, I'm gonna get started with this first vendor. All right, so quick little thing. I'm, I don't remember if I pointed this out yesterday or not, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you, but uh, this, um, it's actually attached to the outer fender well, so I went ahead and unbolted this. These were on here crazy tight. I think they just, you know, they've never been removed, so got that apart. Um, it's gonna let the valence slide in better. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and start the process of getting this removed from the truck. So I bought this little drill bit, and it's meant to be specifically for drilling out spot welds, so we're gonna see how all this works. So literally as soon as I start drilling, the bit wants to move, so I'm gonna go ahead and take my punch and punch each spot. That way it should move. All right, so we just got all these drilled out. Um, you know, that uh, that special bit I got was okay. Um, even with using the punch to make it stay centered, it kept wanting to hop around and bounce around. So I'd say it was, you know, five out of 10. It worked, but it wasn't the greatest. Um, these ones up at the top, just due to the angle and everything, I ended up just using a 5 16 drill bit. So that worked just fine. Um, so now I'm gonna go ahead and jack the car up get the wheel off and then we're gonna start in the inner fender and then I gotta figure out my plasma cutter because we're gonna have to start cutting now. So I'm gonna get the wheel off and then we'll start there. All right, so we got the inner fender well out. So um, right here, and you know, all along this line, there's a couple spot welds. And that's actually the line we have to follow to go ahead and cut this out. Um, after we get that cut out, um, I gotta find there's a couple other spots we gotta cut out, but um, we'll cut along there and then there's a bolt down underneath here that's gotta be undone. And then this, uh, this fender also um, pretty sure you gotta cut a hole here and cut this section here. That way you can undo a bolt here and this just gives you the clearance to pull it away. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, figure out the plasma cutter now. Woo! So, uh, I wanted to test some stuff out before I started, you know, filming and showing the process and, uh, I don't know if you can tell, but, uh, there's a fire extinguisher stuff all over the ground. Um, because I've off-roaded with this truck so much, there's a ton of dirt, debris, pine needles, all just chilling inside that wheel well. How they got in there, probably that little cutout, but they're in like the other side of it. So I don't know how they're in there. But I started catching them on fire, saw a ton of smoke coming out of the top of the truck, freaking just hit the fire extinguisher in there, and just pfft, right up my face. So, uh, I'm kind of nervous about using the plasma cutter, so I think I'm just gonna go get some more angle grinder blades and we're just gonna cut it out the old school way. All right, so I just got back from Home Depot, got a bunch of cutting wheels, so we're gonna go ahead and start uh, cutting this up.
Okay, so that is uh, what was catching on fire. There's a shit ton of grass that got stuck up in there. Glad I stopped using the plasma cutter. Um, the other side doesn't have this like weird foam stop like this, so hopefully that side doesn't have all this crap in there. Okay, so we officially have the whole outer fender off. Um, we went ahead and just cut horizontally there and we just kind of peeled it off of this. We still have those kind of nice structure points for the fender to mount to. Um, to get these off, literally just open the uh, door jam and uh, it's a 13 millimeter bolt into the fender and then cut down here and through here. Try and cut a little bit lower, that way you don't have this gap here. Um, I kind of made a mistake there, so as you can see, it's kind of that gap, but uh, those are off. Um, so now I've made the decision of, I want to keep this so the Fiberworks ones are sent with basically that piece intact, but it doesn't have certain edges on it which kind of makes things difficult in regards to cutting all this off and doing that, but there's already all these bolt points and everything. So what I'm gonna do is keep this, and I'm just gonna follow this line to here, and that way, this will become that structure, essentially, and I'll be able to sandwich it. I'll cut these little knobs off, but I'll be able to sandwich it in between those two, and that'll be a nice good mounting point for it, and it'll keep the rest of the structure, and I'll be able to cut through the valence and bolt to here, so it's just going to make things way better if I do it that way. So now we're going to go ahead and modify the fiberglass. Should be wearing face, you know, covering and stuff, but uh, just went through it real quick. So we're going to mount and see how it looks. Oh man, look at that. It looks so good. Now we just gotta bolt everything up. I'm gonna throw the headlight in it real quick, just kind of get a rough idea of what it's gonna look like. All right, so we got our first fender mounted up. We got a bolt there. Just use a 5 16 one inch bolt with a washer nut on each side. Use the factory point right there. Then use the same factory point down there. Um, body line looks pretty good for that gap. Door opens, no problem. That's what it looks like with the wheel on. So, so I gotta do some work with the valence, but oh, does that look good? So, super happy with the progress so far. Uh, now that I got this pretty much mocked up, I'm gonna go to the other side. All right, so just got the other side cut off. Let's uh, let's get this side on. I already went overhead and uh, already <laughs> I already went ahead and uh, cut that little piece off. Uh, I'm gonna trim this piece as well. I did it on the other side, just uh, just the way that it has to fit. I gotta take those two areas off. Um, once we get this mounted up, then we can get that valence on, and then the front end is done. So making huge progress on our first day. Okay, so we finally got the driver's side on. It's freaking awesome. Once again, able to keep the factory wheel liners, which is freaking great, because here in Michigan, dealing with mud and everything, it's just gonna make everything so much better than getting stuff caked. I mean, you can already see how dirty my engine bay is, and that's with wheel liners. If I didn't have them, there'd be crap everywhere in here. So all the hardware is in, reattached. Um, Right now, we're just trying to finesse this. Um, honestly, I'm not super happy with how this is made, designed, put together. Um, it's very difficult getting things to line up properly. You really have to sand this and finesse it to get it to fit. Um, you can't use the factory insert because these little plastic tabs that hook to it don't exist on that. So there's just, I know it was only an extra hundred bucks, and honestly, it's the reason I bought Fiberworks versus ADV, but I think they really need to improve that valence on this, this truck. So 
If I have one knock to this kit, it's definitely that. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and get this sanded down, get it fit up, and then the front end is put together and done. Let's have a